Hey, what's up, Tube? Give you guys a quick view of the neighborhood. I know I don't normally do outside videos, but um, it's what it looks like. I like that tree across the street for some odd reason. I'll zoom in for you guys a bit. It always looks nice during Christmas time. But um, okay, the cause of this video, guys. Um, Illegal immigration. Now they were talking about these Minutemen who, um, and they're black, they're white. Um, they advocate for getting illegal immigrants from out of country. Now they have a tactic that they use that I don't quite understand the logic behind. It, I mean, it absolutely makes no sense to me. Now. Day-to-day -day laborers are people who get picked up by trucks, and they go and they make an honest day's living. Now, I don't know what you guys call the honest day's living, but if you're not running the streets, knocking over people for money, to me that's the honest day's living, whether it's being taxed or not. Now, these people use, you know, uh, they hold signs and protests and so forth and so on. I don't get the logic behind that. Now. Now, if you're upset about crime that comes from people who get in this country illegally, I would think the last thing you would want to do to the groups of them who are at least working and are not out stealing, pillaging, and, you know, raping and committing all sorts of uh, atrocious crimes, those would be the last groups of immigrants you would want to bother. If anything, I would think you would want to help these sorts of people or it, or at least advocate for them to get their papers or, you know, to get green cards or working visas or whatever the case is. These aren't the people you want to send back into the streets without, no I mean, what do you really think is going to happen? No one starves quietly. I don't care who you are what ethnic or cultural background you come from, you're not going to sit there and starve and just not do nothing about it and wither away. Now, that goes for black people, white people, Chinese, whoever you are, whether you're from this country or not from this country. If you are being denied work and you can't make a living to feed yourself, feed your kids, you're going to turn to the street element. You don't even have to be a bad person to, to do something like that. At the end of the day, it's called survival. Now, granted, I'm all for people coming here legally. I understand it's better for our economy. But at the same time, I'm not worried about the guys who are day-to-day -day laborers and things of that nature. I don't mind that, because they're not out here killing and raping and pillaging and so forth and so on. It's the ones that aren't that you have to actually worry about. So, with that said, that whole logic is, ha, has, to, has to be one of the stupidest ways to go about trying to help our illegal immigration problem here. Now, if you guys were advocating for the actual criminals, and you were going after the criminal element of it, you would have my respect and you would have my praise. But when you go after the ones who aren't criminals, you're, I mean, you're actually making more criminals within that process. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, I just don't understand that logic period. I mean, I, I try to see it from you guys' point of view, but it makes absolutely no sense to me at all. So, um, with that said, um, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you guys choose to do. Reach one and teach one, and if anybody has an answer to that dumbass logic, please, you, you know, drop me a line. Tell me something, because that makes no sense to me.